Hello everyone, Drew Wilson of Your Era Gamer here. Today we are traveling to the year of 2010. This is when the Steam game Fallout New Vegas was released. So, I've got 10 minutes on the clock. Let's give this game a try. And I just wanted to say quickly, um, thank you so much for all the uh, feedback you guys gave me for the last Fallout game. Um, lots of different ideas to try and uh, a lot of different um, possible solutions. One of them being, of course, um, whether or not I could... Gunrunners are snowing. Uh, I'm just... Okay, sure. Um, checking the integrity of the files. I don't know why I didn't think of that at the time. Um, but did check it. No dice, unfortunately. Sure. Uh, it's taking forever to load everything. Um, there was a lot of other stuff that I tried. Um, again, no dice. Um, but, you know what? It didn't hurt to give your ideas a shot anyway. Um, it did leave me with the idea that I should just go ahead and uh, it, get a refund. Now, unfortunately, that didn't work either because I bought the game Fallout 3 in 2019. Yeah, that's a long, long time. <laughs> so evidently that was the reason why I couldn't refund it. So I'm not going to get a refund. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry. She won't bite unless I tell her to. Don Mitchell said you could teach me to survive with the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Cool. Um, so yeah, I didn't get a refund, but uh, you know what? These things happen, and it took me a long time to get to this partic that particular game. But... You know what? Undeterred, I decided to go try this next game. And as you can tell, it's working, so there's that. <laughs> Alright. Some fast walking. <laughs> now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. Uh -huh. Okay, there's a right click for aim. I'm assuming left click. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. So but I don't left came control to is crouch. bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me. It's just down to the southeast of short ways. Cool. Yeah, I have no experience anyway with uh, Fallout games. I heard it has like RPG elements. I tried recording a video of it when I this game when I was getting to the character recreation. I thought, well, probably isn't going to be that big of a deal, but there was tons of stuff to consider, and I end up realizing, yeah, this isn't going to work. Okay, R is reload. Pretty standard control. Um, so I went through the character creation process as well. So I thought, you know what, there's better stuff to show you than just fiddling with different uh, different items in a menu. <laughs> so space is jump. I wonder. Okay, so left shift is walk. Which is a little bit surprising to me. Usually left shift is run. <laughs> but I guess you're running anyway. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. There's a pickpocket function in this game. Kind of like um, Elder Scrolls, okay. really. 
You're on. Go give him hell. <laughs> Still hidden? Alright. Go across here. Cool. And they walk on two feet. A lot of health. <laughs> uh, a take all. Sure. E. A. Cool. Go ahead and reload since we have the moment. of it there's two more wells that still need clearing you want you can come along it'd be worth a few caps to me sure i'll come with you shouldn't take more than a couple minutes especially with two of us come with me it's interesting this is actually a tutorial but you know what i'll take it Slow motion dramatic shots, too. I don't know if I'm getting really anything at all that's of value. One thing I notice about uh, Bethesda games is that there is plenty of games that have a lot of junk items, essentially. So, I don't know what is ju classified as junk yet or not, but collecting everything for now. Some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One more thing I wanted to show I wonder you. Wonder if that NPC was meant to be there. Living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some xander root and a brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. Mm -hmm. So we have a construction element to this cooking thing? I'm not sure yet. But there's a definitely a mechanic it's trying to teach me at this point. So we'll just head on over here, I guess. One thing I do know about um, compass things is that the closer you are to something, the faster it sometimes move. The arrow moves, and the one on the left moves a little bit more. So I suspect I'm close to that. A little bit of a trick I kind of learned after a while. <laughs> it's probably very obvious for most players, but hey, why not? Little tip there. It's not hard and fast, but it is certainly there. as a possibility. It keeps talking about vats. I'm not sure what it's... it's uh... Okay. So that's just a little bit of an extra thing.
Don't know what kind of damage you cause, but I'm not taking any risks at this point. Usually if you're a low level in a lot of games, yeah, you want to take fewer risks, right? Alright, so I guess that is pretty much it for that. So, yeah, interesting so far. Um, now, I I did hear about how this game does have some, you know, RPG elements to it. Um, it was, it, I wasn't exactly expecting it to be, like, that thick in the RPG elements, but it definitely has that shooter element going for it. Um... Yeah, interesting so far. I'm kind of curious how it all plays out. If it's is how I just to what extent the RPG elements keep going, but it's definitely a lot uh, more prominent than I was expecting for sure. Um, but uh, enough about me. I uh, wanted to actually hear from you. Uh, for those of you who have played this game, what did you think of uh, Fallout New Vegas? Was this a really good installment to the franchise? Did you have fond memories of other installments? Uh, let me know. And uh, for those who haven't played this game, but played other um, games in this franchise. Um, what did you think of what you saw? Did it look reasonably familiar? Did it have a lot of familiar elements to it? Is it something that you might be interested in playing? Or is this, you know, you've had your fill of Fallout games and this isn't really going to change your minds necessarily? Yeah, let us know. And uh, for those who haven't played any Fallout games whatsoever, um, what did you think of what you saw? Like, does this look like an interesting game for you to play? Or is this, you know, maybe not necessarily your style of game? Yeah, definitely uh, let us know on, on, that, on that front. So, I guess that is all for now, and until next time, what is your era?